After we've physically connected the NXT B to our NXT robot, we need to download an extra component for the code editor that we use to command the NXT robot. To do that, we need to go to www.dexterindustries.com we go there. <coughs> Dexter Industries is the manufacturer of the NXTB. Now, uh, if we go to download at Dexter Industries, we can look down a bit, and here's the NXTB section. We want these NXTG blocks and examples. So I can right click on the NXTG blocks and we'll save the targets as. Uh, on my desktop I've got a folder called delete me to remind me that I've got to get rid of this later on to save clogging up my hard drive. Uh, I'm inside that and I'll download nxtbcomplete.zip. That goes down quite quickly as you can see. Uh, we'll delete that. We also want the nxtg examples. We'll right click on that um, save target as. I'm not sure if that's in the recorded section of the screen. I hope so. We get nxtb examples.zip and we'll download that. That's already down. Good. So we can now close our browser. Here's our delete me file. Double click on that to open it and it opens out of the recorded area. There we are. Now we have two folders we've come down nxtbcomplete.zip. You'll need to unzip these before you can use them. I'm using Windows 7 so the way I unzip them is to right click on that and click on extract all. That says that it'll extract them into this folder which is something inside delete me. So I'll click extract and we then see these blocks which will be inside. I can close that down and you can see inside delete me we've now got this one which is has an NXTG block. That's what we need to add to our our editor, our program editor. Right, so let's close that one down and we'll open up uh, Lego Mindstorms NXT to editor and so um, I can call this test um, I don't know NXTB double E not very <laughs> um, not very original but it'll do nicely text NXTGB now if we look at the tools we got to a block import and export wizard block import and export wizard left click on that and we come up with this particular <coughs> window. Nothing there to import. We've got to browse to find it. We browse to our delete me folder. It's on the desktop and I can go down. Here's our delete me folder. That's the NXTB complete folder which we've just unzipped and there's our NXTG block. We've selected that. We'll click OK and you see we've got NXTB 2.12 that's the block we want to add into our editor. Um, we've clicked on that, it's gone orange, and we can now say import. Um, because <coughs> I've, I've put some stuff in here before when I was testing, uh, I'll be overwriting something. So I click OK for overwriting. You probably won't get that. We'll click close there. And if everything's worked out, we'll now have an extra item in our menus. Now one thing about the menus, if you've got the green circle uh, to the four down here on the left hand side, you'll get this selection ranging from the move to the loop. To use the NXTB we've got to click on the middle one, complete palette. The move to the loop is now along the top and we've got all these extra menus and one of them is this menu and down here we've got the NXTB. So we can 
move that across there you'll notice that if we want to send data we can click send data down here and it'll send it um, we'll want to click a string probably if we don't want to send data receive data we use it like that and you'll notice this change to read but we'll look at some sample programs later okay so we've added the block to our menu which controls the NXTB but we've got one other thing we've got to get something else to download into the actual NXT robot and we'll do that next so close this down no we don't want to save the changes and that's all for this video.